Let me talk to the men. Because the men actually have the power to do the most damage here. Because you are the leader. If I'm driving a bus along a cliff, it's not the people that are riding in the bus with me that can steer the bus off the cliff. It's me, right? It's me that can drive that bus to safety, or it's me that can drive that bus off the cliff. Look, none of this works without your leadership. Now, I, th I see personally, and I don't want to, I don't really know all that much about you all yet, but um, I see a real disconnect today amongst young men especially. And even, even in churches like ours, I see a real disconnect here. You know, there's, a, there's this, these, these zealous young men. I want a virtuous woman. I want my wife to, you know, to stay home and raise my kids and all these things. And, you know, but look, if you want a separated family and you want to do these things, you had better learn to work. You had better learn to work. Because you know what? If you're going to have a, in a society where both parents work, 90% of both parents work, and you're going to talk about having a, having a life where only you work, you better learn to work hard. Or this isn't going to work. You know, I've told my kids since the time that they were this tall that the worst thing you could be in life is lazy. Period. And I feel that way from the top of my head to the tip of my toes too. If you're lazy, you can forget what I'm saying if you're lazy. Because you can't separate your family. If you're lazy and you're not willing to work for it, who's going to support them when, when all this is going on? You know, 1 Timothy 5.8 says, But if any provide not for his own, especially for those in his own house, he hath denied the face and is worse than an infidel. The Bible says you're worse than an unbeliever. And that's true. Amen. I mean, when... When the, it doesn't say you're not saved, but it says you're worse than an unbeliever. You're worse. You act worse. The consequences will be worse. You will destroy your family. You'll raise lazy kids. Your wife will have no respect for you. How are you going to do all these things I'm talking about if you're not willing to get out there and work? You young men, you want to get married. You're not married. You think you're going to go into some church like this? and you have no job, and, and you, some virtuous woman is just going to run up to you and, and want to marry you? You're living in a dream world, my friend. You better have a plan, and you better, you better get things together. And then God will put things, and God will bless that. God will bless that. Look, worse than an infidel, I've seen, it, it's almost 100%. When, when we get these, these men that come into these churches and they're perpetually unemployed, they're not gonna, it's not going to work here. They, they, call, they cause all kinds of problems. A hundred percent of them. They cause all kinds of trouble and problems. Some get, get, get thrown out. It's crazy. It's a serious predictor. So if you want to raise kids, you want to separate your family, you want to lead in that area, get to work. Get a plan to get to work. Spiritual leadership. You know, you're the spiritual leader in your family. What are you doing to lead spiritually? These women are supposed to be silent in this church. They're supposed to learn in silence. How are they going to learn if you never do anything? When's the last time you led a Bible study at home? You know how you lead a Bible study at home? Here's how complicated it is. You, you open up the Bible, you pick a chapter, you read it ten minutes beforehand, and then you bring your family out to the living room. This is what I do. I bring my family out to the living room, and then we all read the chapter together. And when I read it 10 minutes beforehand, I noted some things that I just wanted to talk about, and then I let my family talk about it. I'm like, hey, what do you think? You'd be shocked what your 12-year-old daughter will get out of the Bible. Amen. But I want to know. Oh, pff, sermon ideas have come out of it for me. I mean, you're going to, and then as you keep doing this, guess what's going to happen? Your family's going to learn the Bible. Lead your home. Lead your home. The whole exercise takes about 25 minutes. And if you get some good conversation going, it's, it's, it's a great time. Make some popcorn. We try to do it every single night there's not church. And you know what? I'm proud to say that because my family loves it so much, even when I've been busy, they now come to me and say, when are we doing a Bible study? And I'm like, uh, okay, right now. That's when we're doing it. It's awesome. Do it. Lead. 
It's your job. It's your job.